I used to take myself out on dates Open my own damn doors, pay for everything on my plate Sometimes I'd even get to stay Cause I got it like that, always had my own bag Never needed no man to rely on Got two good shoulders to cry on I was alright on my own Till I fell but it wasn't fake And I couldn't tell at the time But I was my own soulmate It's like I forgot I was fine Let you treat me any kind of way And now I'm free, you gotta celebrate You couldn't see everything and stay Glad that I wasn't afraid to say Yeah, if I gotta choose me I won't be afraid to If I gotta choose me I gotta do what I gotta do When I love you, I lose me Now I can't be attached to you no more I like me better when I wasn't yours I'm going back, I'm going back Good morning, you guys. Welcome back to the channel. I have to go and run some errands today. I have my protein iced coffee. Well, I guess the proper term is profi, where you mix your protein shake with your protein coffee. Now you got profi. I get it. I like what they did there. Y'all, pardon these ratchet nails. Um, I was just a little bit too rough. As you can tell, I'm right-handed because most of these suckers have popped off. Well, I've popped some of them off myself. But then this hand is fully intact but that's where we're going we're gonna go get some more nails i need to go buy my business and get the kids christmas gifts that we've been hiding um from my mom we don't do first of all this lace oof. i'll explain we don't do um gifts anymore really the kids are all older so we would rather spend the holidays making memories and having experiences instead of just buying gifts over and over and over again um so my mom sent them stuff because you know grandma's they grandma's gonna be grandma um and then i need to go to the hair store because I love this wig. She is so beautiful and elegant, but she is definitely not an everyday wig. And I have been wearing her every day for two weeks. It's time for me to get a day-to-day -day wig. And then with this one, I'm gonna have to cut it because you <laughs> see, she got all razzle frazzled on the end. So I'm gonna have to cut her and bring her back to life. But I definitely need an everyday piece. This ain't it. I've been wearing it pulled back and like, wrapped up in a low bun because I just I don't have time like this morning this morning felt really good y'all to be able to wake up do my lemon water take my time have make my uh profi wash my face brush my teeth like just to be able to literally take an hour and a half to get ready Whereas normally, like within 20 minutes of waking up, I'm trying to hurry up and get out the door. <laughs> We're business owners, so, well, let me rephrase that. We're business owners and the employees and the everything for our business. We literally have no staff. It's just me and Yancey. Um, so that means that we don't have a whole lot of time, which is why I am strongly entertaining the idea of, um, not strongly, heavily, entertaining the idea of taking our business out of brick and mortar and moving it back into the online space um, because our kids are getting older they're needing more of our time like Anaya needs to learn how to drive we need to get her into driver's ed which is going to require you know pick up drop off um, Malachi and Ayana are getting older it's just there's a lot that is coming into play and we're at work 24-7 which is we didn't start a business to be at work 24 seven. We started our business for time freedom. Um, anyway, also it's Christmas Eve. So I need to go to the grocery store and I need to get some things to make our overnight oatmeal. It's like a Christmas Eve tradition. And to be honest, I wasn't gonna make it this year cause I mean, I'm getting ready for surgery. Um, I'm seriously trying to get my weight down and the family has been so good like so good about being supportive in the house but my nana called me earlier this week asking me was I making the oatmeal so nana says she wants oatmeal precious is gonna make the overnight oatmeal y'all pray my strength 
But anywho, let's get this show on the road. This car is heated up now. I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. I like me better, I like me better, I like me better, yeah, yeah. I like me better, I like me, I like me better when I was yours. Okay, so those are the gifts that my mom got for the kids, <clears throat> which they're going to love. I'm a little bit perturbed. I'm not even in the Christmas spirit, to be honest. Um, like I was saying earlier, we made the decision that from now on with Christmas, instead of doing gifts and everything, we were going to make memories. So... Today actually was supposed to be the last day of our Christmas cruise. We were supposed to be getting back in Florida today, getting off the boat and going to Disney World tomorrow. But our cruise got canceled and then there went all of our plans. There went all of our plans. And um, when did they cancel our cruise? I think they canceled our cruise in October which it just wasn't enough time for me to come up with another idea. Like we were supposed to be on a cruise since last Saturday. We would have got back today. And then we were going to stay in Florida until Sunday, the day after Christmas, then we were going to come home. So we were going to do Christmas Eve in Florida, just kind of seeing what they had to do. Christmas Day in Disney World. And then come back home sunday and i'm i'm still i still haven't gotten over it this was the third cruise of ours that they canceled and it just irks my nerves so i'm just like god if you don't want us to go on a cruise right now just say that just say that which i guess that's what's he been doing what he's been doing he's been telling us not right now my child and i'm just hard-headed and i don't want to listen anyway so we've got the gifts from my mom now i need to go to the hair store this lace can you tell i'm over it i'm over it y'all i haven't been out in the streets for a whole work shift i just got home say hi yana hi. nothing talking to the people telling them how i was intending to run to the store real quick this morning and now i don't work the whole shift in these streets they better run me my 40 dollars Okay, you guys, I am home after being out in these streets all damn day. I swear, it's like I left at eight something. It is now a couple of minutes to four o'clock. That is a whole work shift that I don't put in my hours on these streets. I'm gonna need them to cut me my check. We was about to go into overtime. Anywho, let me show you guys um, what I got. So, I got two sets of nails. I don't know which ones I want to do. Do I want to do the light colored nails or the dark colored nails? Like, I have on dark colored nails on this hand anyway. Right now, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. But I also got a little big head. First of all, I can't believe, like, this is the size of my head right here this is the size of my head i'm having trouble believing that but anyway i figure if i'm gonna be wearing these waist legs i'm gonna have to get good at it so i got a wig head so that i can like pluck and do all the other things that the other beauty youtubers say you're supposed to do when you buy a lace wig speaking of lace wigs my store was doing uh buy one get one half off but because i'm bougie and i wanted the more human like experience Oh, this got baby hairs. Come through, baby hairs. Okay. Okay, baby hairs. Anyway, so we have her. I don't know what to name these. I don't even know what to name the one on my head. But here she is. And she's just got a little bit of lace around the hairline. So ear to ear. And I love, like, I'll have to let you guys see what these look like on but I love that it has some body 
It's got a little bit of texture, not too much. I don't like when wigs are just flat and straight. That's not my style, probably because I have a round face. But here she is. And in the store, this was actually, actually, um, a lot lighter. But I asked for one a little bit darker because I wasn't ready to go for a super light color on this. This is definitely going to be my everyday hair because it was inexpensive and I wouldn't mind throwing a, um, a headband around this. This one, this one's gonna be fun. I think I am going to go ahead and wear her tomorrow for Christmas. Now I was a little bit sad because I guess this is a pretty popular wig and this was the only one they had left in the store. So the ends are a little bit well loved, but that's okay. I'll put some conditioner in some water and get her back the way she's supposed to be. But this is a fun wig for me. Um, I've never done platinum hair. <laughs> uh, so I'm curious to see how she's gonna do. She also has baby hairs. I'm here for these baby hairs. Yes, Lord, please don't let me mess this up, okay? I am gonna have to do some plucking on both of these wigs because, honey, like, well, I can't show you here, but the hairline is very, very artificial. So I'm gonna have to pluck it to give it a more natural look. I'm definitely gonna have to put some color on, on this lace, but I'm really excited about this. That's that, I am about to take a load off, chill. Um, the new Matrix movie actually just came out and I've been meaning to watch it, but life has been lifing and I haven't had a chance to watch it yet. So I think I'm gonna watch the new Matrix movie, chill out, and then later on tonight, we're gonna make our traditional overnight Christmas oatmeal, um, which I'll bring you guys along to see how I make that. But for right now, Let's watch The Matrix. Okay, you guys. So this is the hair that I decided to install. Um, I really like the platinum hair, but I want to save it for something a little bit more festive. Well, what's more festive than Christmas? What I'm saying is I really wanted to like razzle dazzle, save it for a swanky event or something, but um, it's definitely not something I would want as everyday hair. I'm just not ready for that type of attention. But anywho, let's get in this kitchen and make this Christmas oatmeal. Um, like I said, it's kind of a family tradition at this point. My mom started doing the Christmas oatmeal back in Texas and it was pretty awesome and now it's just something that we do she's doing it back home in texas i'm doing it here i i need to call my sister and see if she's doing it at her house and i need to see if my brother's doing it at his house i need to see who all's doing it besides me and mom but um yeah i really i wasn't gonna do it this year i think i told y'all that this morning i i just i'm not really feeling it this year i'm not in the christmas spirit hopefully tomorrow that will change um but my Nana called and she wants her Christmas oatmeal in the morning. So let's make this Christmas oatmeal. Okay, so to do the Christmas oatmeal, we do it in the crock pot. Oh, by the way, no more ratchet nails. <laughs> okay, so to do the Christmas oatmeal, we do it in the crock pot. And we're just gonna put all the ingredients in here and put it on low and let it cook until we wake up in the morning. So right now it's almost 10 o'clock. I figure we'll be up by like 7.38. So however many hours that is. We've got our oats. And you guys, I literally don't measure anything. I love you too. And then we add milk. Again, I don't measure anything. I just pour until the spirits of the ancestors tell me to stop. And I like my oatmeal. Well, first of all, this is gonna cook really, really, like soak up the milk. 
So I like my oatmeal to be a little bit creamy versus thick. So there's my milk. We're gonna put a full stick of butter. We're gonna add sugar. but not too much. I would say maybe a quarter of a cup. We're gonna add brown sugar. Okay, so I added a lot of brown sugar. We're gonna add vanilla extract. We're gonna add a little Himalayan salt to really make the flavors pop. I'm gonna do some ground cinnamon. We're gonna do some nutmeg. And then we're gonna mix in some berries and raisins. And now that everything is in, let me just give it a quick stir. Normally I stir it with a spoon, but tonight we are gonna use a knife. And now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set it to the low setting. All right, you guys, so thanks so much for hanging out with me today. Um, but it's Christmas Eve, so now it's time to enjoy some time with the family. Nico's over here dying for attention. She probably just wants more soft cat food. Anyway, um, I really appreciate you guys being here. And who turned my light green and red? Ayana, did you do this? Okay, I guess Anaya is in the Christmas spirit and she put our portrait lights green and red. <laughs> but um, thanks for hanging out today. I'm really excited to bring more content like this. If you like this vlog, make sure that you like the video, comment down below, tell me what you liked about today, tell me what you think about my new hair. It's so soft. Let me know if you want more content like this. Um, Again, just, I really appreciate you being a part of my YouTube family. Um, it really means the world to me. You don't realize how important it is to build community until you feel that connection, until I read your comments and, and I see that you guys are really rocking with me and it just, it means the world and I really do appreciate it. I'm so grateful for each and every one of you. I'm grateful for our friendships that we are building. I'm grateful for the sisterhood that we're building and it's just, it's awesome. So I hope that tomorrow, uh, Christmas, well, by the time you guys watch this, it won't be Christmas anymore, but I hope that you had a very Merry Christmas. I hope that you got to spend lots of time with the people that you love. Um, and I just, I, I pray that it, everything, your life's desires are just coming true. So on that note, um, I'm actually kind of tired. I need to clean, I need to get straight. And did I just see somebody on my porch? No, it can't be. I have motion sensor lights out there. Girl, you just scared the life out of me. <laughs> Dang, Ayana. I didn't do anything. The way you just came and I was, anyway, I will see you guys on the next video. Oh my God. I gave you all that you asked of me. You like the view from behind, but you won't make an ass of me. That's why I'm saying goodbye. Hopping now, my feelings get to the money. Gotta keep it a hundred Leaving you ain't really took nothing from me So don't come looking for me I'm not 